You know what I fucking hate more than anything on this goddamn planet besides my family is trying to find a good way to start these fucking videos like honestly the only reason why it takes me so long to upload these is because the fucking intro and this chair it won't stop making fucking noise and there's so much noise coming from the outside i have to close the window every time but the, the windows they suck ass you can still hear like cars when they drive by and shit you know what i'm just so fucking sick of everything anyways how about the new freshman xxl cypher that everyone's talking about everybody's making fun of playboy cardi i don't understand where the hate's coming from i mean i really liked his freestyle because he mentioned the thing with his sock and i thought that was pretty cool everyone loves that everyone loves that you know that bar anyways today we're specifically gonna be focusing on playboy cardi the most defining aspects of his music or his production from his producers is you gotta be on the major scale not on the minor you know most trap beats they're gonna be dark and shit you know it's time to lighten up old man the old sack of shit let's make some happy shit not that i would know what it feels like to be happy but i feel like i have a pretty good understanding i'm pretty much gonna break down the whole beat right now so if you listen to this you can just like it, nothing else is gonna fucking matter but i'm gonna explain it again anyways um just get one chord i mean if if you want you guys all i mean you guys always tell me like oh you should have did this you should have did this you can do whatever the fuck you want i don't care i'm just doing it and i'm showing you how i did it i'm gonna get one chord and i'm just gonna keep it at that constant state the whole time so i'm not gonna do any progression just one fucking chord and i'm gonna layer it with a bunch of other sounds i'm gonna get the zaytoven drum kit and you gotta top it all off with the flute you know you can't be doing nothing without a flute yep so i got this arpeggio sound if you're like me and you don't really like creating melodies you know you just turn on the arpeggio function and you just press a chord and just sit back and relax yep this is the life just let fl studio do all the work for you you know why you gotta do all those extra steps and fuck that shit The next step, which I actually forgot to mention in the beginning, which is just as important, is the fucking bass. This is what's gonna, like, this sounds boring, right? But the bass is just gonna bring, like, it's gonna carry the whole thing, you know? <laughs> shit out the way um you know let's make the drums zaytoven drum kit sounds pretty good can't can't really complain it, you know it sounds nice the next step like i mentioned at the start let's make the flute i'm gonna be getting my flute from the yamaha mx 49 i'm just gonna make a melody and just gonna play a whole bunch of melodies and see which ones that i hate which ones that i don't Now on to the last step, gonna be layering a bunch of pads with the same chord. Like really, you're gonna we're gonna get a lot, maybe like eight VSTs running pad sounds with the same melody. I know what you're gonna be thinking, it's just gonna sound like a big fucking mess at the end, but no, because I'm gonna mute out some of them when they're not playing. I'm not gonna be playing all of them at the same time.
Yep, but what did I say? That definitely has a lot more depth to it than the last one. And if you think about it, we barely even had to do any work. And if there's anything that I like in my life, is not having to work. Yo, Pierre, you wanna come out here? <laughs>